Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're going to look at how to upload videos to your business page on Facebook, what all the different settings mean, and how to get more engagement on your upload. It is great to have you for another video training episode. My name is Rachel and I'm here to explain all the technical stuff so you can get your message out into the world using video. Make sure you subscribe for more video tips and techniques. And now let's jump over to the Facebook Creator Studio. In the Creator Studio, go to Upload Video, Single Video, and select the file you want to upload. First, add your video title and post description. You can add elements to your video like how you're feeling, where you are, tag any business partners if you're uploading branded content, any unpaid promotions, or add a message button so viewers can get in touch with you. Add tags that are relevant to your video. And the tags that often work the best are the ones that already exist in the system that Facebook will suggest to you. You can also select your video language here, which will help when we get to the caption section. Next, choose from one of the auto-generated thumbnails, upload your own thumbnail image, or choose any frame from your video to be your thumbnail. Moving on to captions. Your video has to be fully uploaded before captions can be auto-generated and edited. Alternatively to auto-generated captions, a great resource to have accurate and more professional captions created for you is Rev.com, where a real person will transcribe your video. I've added a link to Rev in the description, and for more information on the benefits of using captions to enhance your reach and having them created for you, you can check out the video in the cards. You can also start from scratch and write your own captions, but it'll save you a lot of time by choosing one of the two options above instead. You can create more engagement in your video by creating a poll and asking your viewers a question. This can help you to get to know what your audience is thinking or give you ideas for future content while increasing the engagement on your video. You can add labels to your video to help yourself or your other admins keep track of the video or find it later on when you have hundreds of items in your content library. If you'd like to experiment with 360 degree mode, you can have a play with these settings here. Finally, your publishing options. You can choose to publish it immediately or set it as a premiere if you have some kind of announcement or special content that you've been promoting and it lets your audience watch your video live at the same time and comment and engage with it as it plays. Or you can schedule your post for a later time. I like to schedule most of my videos to fit them in with my content strategy. Finally, choose where you want your video to show up and add it to any playlists or series you'd like on your page. And we're done. Your video post will show up in your content library where you can edit it at any time. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and leave your questions in the comments below so I can answer them for you. Hit subscribe for more video tips and techniques and I will see you in the next video.